So when you think about embodying uh, prophetic character or taking on the prophetic sunnah, don't just rush to your local Islamic clothing store. Don't just think about how you're going to assume some of those habits, some of those idiosyncrasies that we associate with the Prophet ﷺ. Think about what kind of mother you are. Think about what kind of father you are. Think about what kind of neighbor you are. You know, a good friend of mine told me, if you want to know how much of the sunnah of Muhammad وسلم, you are embodying, just ask yourself, if you die today, would your neighbors even attend your funeral? This is more indicative of your embrace of the sunnah than anything you have hanging in your closet. And I am not saying this to disparage those of us that have garments that uh, we associate with sunnah or garments or, or any outward thing that we might do out of love for the Prophet I am not discouraging you, nor am I disparaging any of those beautiful actions. I'm simply saying, don't let that be the extent of your engagement with what this man gave us, what this man left us. لَقَدْ كَانَ لَكُمْ فِي رَسُولِ اللَّهِ أُسْوَةٌ حَسَنًا Truly you have in God's messenger a good uswa. You have a blessed uswa. Now the word uswa in the Arabic language, I am completely indebted to my beloved teacher, friend, and brother, Hisham Mahmoud, who shared with me something I had never realized before, that the word uswa in the Arabic language comes from the same root as asiya. Asiya is the one that helps to bring about a state of wellness, the one that helps to bring about a state of ease, that the example of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is mentioned as an uswa. It is that which helps to bring about a state of wellness, that which cures us from spiritual disease, that which brings about a holistic state of goodness. So the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is a mirror that all of us can look at, all of us can look into, and we can adjust what we need to adjust of our arrogance. We can adjust what we need to adjust of our selfishness. We can adjust what we need to adjust of our greed. We can adjust what we need to adjust of our unjustifiable hatred of others. We can adjust what we need to adjust of every spiritual malady, every spiritual sickness with which we might be afflicted. And we do this in the name of the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. 